<coughs> there is an issue with these expression trees. We can take an expression tree and generate infix, but we lose brackets, and we have to do some budget. But we'll we'll um, we'll look at that. I just wanted to get you nailed on this. I'll do one more example, then I'll give you a couple to do. Okay, so let's do something. I'll move that. I'll make the tree a little bit bigger this time. Right, let's have one with a with an assignment in it. Uh, so let's have G equals F plus K minus P to the power of D minus S. Okay, so that's what we'll have a go at doing. Is that what we're doing? Right, we need to do some bracketing up. Okay, so let's look at this expression. The first thing that's going to be done is the plus. You guys have an after with that. This is why it's a bit clunky. Okay. Are we going to do the minus next? Are we going to do the power next? Okay. But are we going to do the power before we've done that? You've got, you've got to do that, haven't we? The brackets are going to go there, yeah? Everyone have to do that? Then, we should be able to do that minus. So we can put a bracket in there. This is why they tend to, in the exam, give you the expression tree. Okay? They wouldn't give you anything as nasty as it. And then the final one should be the assignment. So it looks minging. That is a valid expression. If you used to put that into program code, the compiler would go, well, you've got a load of meaningless brackets in there, but yeah, fair enough. I'll just remove them all anyway. Right, so that's our start point. So if we draw ourselves our route, okay, so we're going to put this entire expression. So enclosing by the first set of brackets was the equals operator. To the left of it is G. To the right of it is the rest of the horrible expression that we've got. Okay, so we're just going to put a blank, and then we're going to do a little arrow to indicate that we've got this hideously minging thing. F plus K minus P to the power D minus S, and then we got one, two, three brackets. How come it's doing that? You'll always find with an assignment that you always get this hanging left on its own. The rest of the tree will now form. But because assignment's the last action at the end. G's on the left of the equals. Oh, okay. Isn't it? Right, okay, so the operation that is being enclosed by that set of brackets is the minus. Yeah? Have enough with that? So we're going to put the minus down. To the left of it, ah, we've got a double expression bit here that's all bracketed up. So to the left of this, we have got F plus K. To the right of it, we have got P to the power V minus S. Okay, let's do this bit first because this looks easier. All right, let's try to make a mistake. Taking out the brackets, we've got the plus operator. There are a couple of things that you can see when you're looking at expression trees. You should never, in a leaf node, have an operator. There will always be operands. Okay? The operators must be communicating with leaf nodes. So they can't be at the bottom. Although someone's gone wrong, we've done that. So we end up to the left is an F. To the right is a K. So that's that part of the expression tree built. So let's come back to this other bit where we've got the power. So the operator, if we take that bracket out, is power. Oh, this is why, this is why when I did my project, drawing these trees is really evil. Because I've actually, I'm gonna bump into the K. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag that down a bit so I don't bump into the K. That was the thing that it took me ages to try and create a solution for. It's hideous. Right, so I'm going to put the power in there. To the left is nicely just a P. 
But to the right, there is a further expression to expand. And that is D minus, I'm going to have to draw that out again. D minus S. Okay. Now, the operator in this case is minus to the left. It's important that you get the left and right the right way around. And to the right is an S. And that's the expression tree for that expression. So that's the first stage. Now we've got to do <coughs> the cutting, the tree traversal to generate the post fix. I'll do it in green. Right, so in order to do the post fix, cut after the node. So from the centre, draw a line from each node to the right. Okay. Then all we're going to do is we're going to traverse the outline of the tree. Where we hit these lines, we're going to write down the content of the node. So starting at the root, follow anti-clockwise round, we get a G. Keep going round. F. You'll know it's going right if your operands are in the same order. Okay? So keep going, keep going round. So this is quite a complicated tree. K plus. Keep going round, keep going round, keep going round. Good, I'm blinded. P. Keep going round, keep going round. A bit in X. D. Keep going around. S. Keep going around. Didn't draw that long enough. Minus. That was that bit. That we knew we had to do before the power. Then we can do the power. Then we can do the minus. And then we can do the assignment at the end. Okay. Everyone happy with this process? The hardest bit is doing the brackets. Okay? Because you've actually got to look at it, the expression and say, well, what's the precedent rules that's been applied here? So you've actually got to understand it all. The other method, the more algorithmic method, you didn't have to think about anything, did you? You just went, right, okay, can I stick it on the stack? If I can't, take some off the stack. But this is a diagrammatic method. Like I said, in the exam, they shouldn't ask you to generate the tree, but they could for a simple expression. So I'm going to give you just a couple of simple expressions to make sure you can do the tree, do the tree walk. Okay? Right, I'll just stop that.